Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I'm gonna just get straight into this thrift video because I already picked up a lot of stuff at the first location that I went to. First thing that I found was this Motley Crue shirt. It was in really great condition, really good quality. I'm actually not a fan of the band, but the shirt was just too good to pass up on. One of my favorite movies of all time is Corpse Bride, so I really loved this, but I wish that the design was a little bit nicer. I'm not really a fan of this color combination. I don't think that I would wear a satin shirt like this to work yet, but it was cute nonetheless, and for only $5, someone will definitely love it. I can never say no to a good black cargo pant, and these had some silver details on them, so of course I had to at least try them on. This red shirt was a bit more my style and more simple than the satin one. Recently, I've been wearing these like collared shirts underneath a plain jumper. So I've been looking for some different colored button ups. I'm actually wearing this outfit right now so you can see what I'm talking about. I thought this little vest style top was cute. Um, I don't really know what to call it. It ended up being too small, unfortunately, but I think it would have been a nice basic piece. I have a jumper just like this, but it's hand knitted. So um, it's actually started to fall apart, unfortunately. So I found this one that looks basically exactly the same. There were a few homewares here too. These little bowls were adorable and they were made in Italy, but I don't really know what I would use them for because of their just like awkward size. There were some gorgeous frames here today. There was a little fabric kind of grandma style one. It was so precious. Found a small silver one and um, I'm actually not usually a fan of this kind of like deep yellow gold, but we do have a few gold pieces in our place now. So I'm okay with mixing gold and silver. And this mirror was just way too good to pass up on. So gorgeous and ornate. Okay, on to trying things on now, and this jumper just did not look good on. It was a bit too tight and small. This Motley Crue shirt actually looked really cool. The material was really nice and heavyweight, and it had like a tighter crew neck style, so I did get it, but no, I still will not be listening to these guys. <laughs> the pants were so sick, I definitely bought them. Um, the details on the pockets really sold me on these, and I don't even mind that they're a bit more mid-rise when I go for high-rise pants. Anyway, gonna go on to the next day of thrifting at Savers, and the first thing that I came across was this really cool mannequin torso. Looked very like space agey, but I realized that they priced it at $60. So no, these were absolutely painful to look at. Someone has destroyed these gorgeous bedside tables with gold spray paint. Um, someone has already bought them though. Hopefully it's just to restore them. Look at these Playboy flats. Oh my God, they are so 2000s. It's crazy. They are like screaming Paris Hilton, but I don't know anyone who can wear shoes this flat. I think I'm gonna start collecting unique coasters like this because I keep just coming across them and and then I can also like put them on my wall, share them around when I have dinner parties, you know? I bought this vintage hexagon mirror for my mom. She has an entire wall of mirrors like this in her house. Bo was so happy with this find. He has been looking for some really specific textured pants that are like this that also have like uh, an animal print on them. I'm very glad that he found some, seeing as though it is such a weirdly specific thing to look for. He also brought me these pants that were so cute. I really loved the pinstripes and the big like thick band at the top, but I didn't have any time to try anything on so hopefully they fit. I've seen popcorn tops, of course, but I have never seen popcorn pants. These look so uncomfortable to wear. I don't know who would ever want these. These pants were really cool. They were kind of stretchy too, but they had a lot of details on them. There were some lace panels and the sides had this like braided part. Um, and I think that they're flared as well. I would love to find a little vest like this one, but this was not my size, it was way too small. <laughs> Looking back, I probably should have at least tried on this little cardigan, but I just don't wear cardigans very often, so I did leave it behind. Um, it was also a little bit expensive too, but honestly, what isn't expensive at Savers anymore? We checked out and then went to a couple more stores and you guys are just not prepared for what I'm about to find here. <laughs> so this Savers did end up being a little bit of a letdown. I'll show you what I found anyway before we get to the good stuff. I started in homewares as usual and I was tempted to get a couple of breakdancing bunnies, but they were priced at like $7 each. I thought this was a really old or unique version of the Lord of the Rings book. Granted, it would have been way bigger if it was, but it was actually a trinket box. It was so cool. I've never seen something like that. I looked through the CDs and I just cannot believe that I've kept skipping this section out of laziness all these years, but I found Sempaternal by Bring Me The Horizon. When I opened it, some heartless monster had swapped out the disc for One Direction. So. Anyway, um, always check inside the cases before you buy. These gingham pillows were really adorable, but they ended up looking more pink than red, so I left them behind. 
I did really love this cherry pillow and I picked it up so that I could replace some of our boring white couch cushions. I just had to show you guys these pants because they are so unbelievably ugly. They are skinny and low rise and vomit green and they're from the brand Royal Cheese. What the fuck is going on here? I initially liked this dress, but whenever I see these like crystal sort of buttons on the front, I immediately feel like it cheapens the piece. I did look through skirts and the first piece that stood out to me was this brown corduroy and lace skirt from the brand Junk. It definitely looked like it was from a Y2K brand, but unfortunately it had a bunch of white paint splattered on it, so I didn't end up getting it. If this skirt wasn't in this horrible tweed material, it would be really cute, but I just cannot stand the rough texture of this material. I hate it so much. Although I do have a bracelet just like this, I got this one so that Bo and I could match. This bag looked like it was wearing some kind of like leather underwear set. It was very interesting. I have no idea what the brand was. I didn't really find anything else at this store aside from some cool shoes. They ended up being too big for me anyway. Um, looked through shirts and all I found was this RM Williams button up. You don't know, RM Williams is an expensive Australian brand. It's usually worn by people like out in the country though. I ended up just buying the pillowcase though, but I randomly stopped into the salvos across the road and thank the Lord that I did. When we walked in, there was a display that they had put up for Halloween with a bunch of gothic clothes and they were all donated by the same person. We immediately asked if this Tiffany lamp was for sale and they said, yep, take it for 20 bucks. Oh my God. In the wardrobe, there were even more clothes that were all alternative brands. I loved this skirt and the corset detailing. This red plaid set was just calling to me. Obviously I had to get it. Everything here was five to $13 by the way, like holy shit. Okay, I have now officially thrifted my first lip service piece. Finding this had my jaw on the fucking floor, dude. This is like a holy grail brand for alternative people and it's usually so expensive, especially resale. I just could not believe that I found this. I did debate on getting this Victorian style button up, but I think that it would have been a bit too small for me. This might have been a cool top for Bo as well. I have no idea what is written on the back. It looks like they wrote the whole Bible on the back or something, but it really wasn't great material quality. So he decided not to get it. I picked up a couple more alternative pieces from that display corner, including this insane button up top from the brand Angel Secret. Another crazy find that I got is this gorgeous red shirt with press studs and ribbons. Oh my God, perfect. I did end up getting a few more pieces though, but I will save them for the thrift haul and try on that I'm about to do right now. Okay, so it's been a couple of days since I think my last clip that'll be in this video. I actually went thrifting a couple of times, like after I got all that really crazy gold stuff. So um, I'm just gonna do a full haul right now. I'll start off by saying that I won't be showing the Motley Crue t-shirt or the um, black cargo pants just because in the grand scope of everything that I have thrifted in the last week, they're like the least important. Um, you already saw me trying them on, they fit really well. Great, let's leave it at that. Let's get into this gigantic pile of stuff that I have. I'm gonna start off talking about homewares, um, specifically the Tiffany lamp that we got. Oh my God. So if you guys know what Tiffany lamps are, they are like hand cut, handmade glass lamp and they're just like super expensive in general. So for us to get this Tiffany lamp for $20 is insane. Next, I just got these uh, little coasters. They're from Paris, um, they have little sexy ladies on them i love that okay another homeware we got is this cherry tree pillow um we have this style of pillowcase on a couple of our other pillows on the couch because our couch is just plain white um it kind of stands out in our house a bit now that everything's a bit more dark and gothic and whatnot so i'm trying to find some pillowcases to replace the plain white ones i love cherries i love this hand woven style it's so cute okay jewelry now um i only got two things i got another one of these like little Jesus <laughs> bracelets. I love them, I love the silver and the red. And then I just got one of these like crystal bracelets. My mom has a ton of these, so I'm sure she'll tell me what crystal this is. But um, yeah, I got these, they were like a dollar each or something. So yeah, um, maybe I'll start with some things that don't fit me. I didn't really have a chance to try on anything in the salvos that we went to. 
um, just because they were closing and I was literally filling my arms with clothes. But this dress, unfortunately, is way too small for me. It has a zip at the back and um, it just does not go over my butt, like at all. I cinched it in like around my waist to see if it would fit around my waist in my like back area. And it does, but it just will not go over my butt. But yeah, if it did fit me, it would just be like a really easy dress for me to style. It's a very straight up and down sort of like pencil silhouette. And uh, yeah, I really like that. I obviously love the red and black tartan and that was what drew me to it. I guess I'll talk about the other thing that I got and I don't really like this. <laughs> it is a matching like little cropped jacket. I just got it because I liked the dress and they came together. So I think they were like $9 together or something. Yeah, it's cute. I don't know if I would actually wear it with anything. The buttons are kind of falling off. I do really like the pattern and the print and everything. I just don't really wear jackets like this, especially short sleeve jackets. I don't really see the point in them. Moving on to the next thing, and this actually does fit me, but because it's vintage and it's obviously been worn quite a few times, the buttons don't stay together. So I picked this little polka dot piece up thinking that it was like a little tank top, but it's actually a play suit. And that is so cool. I haven't worn a play suit in years. It's from the brand Living Dead Souls, which is really, really cool. I don't really go for polka dots. I know that I've said that many times on my channel that I don't really wear polka dots, but this piece, because it had the retro like, top up here. I thought that maybe I could make it work. So yeah, you can kind of see that these come off really easily um, because it was stretching a little bit to fit me, I guess. Um, they were just popping off. <laughs> I got this perfect tartan kilt. Oh my God, it is insane. It's so heavy. Yeah, it's literally from the tartan shop. It's adjustable. It has these little buckles here. It's perfect. I love it. It's like a traditional cotton kilt. The only thing is that I obviously need to like iron it or something. I just filmed the entire haul without realizing that my phone ran out of storage. <laughs> I think I got to the like kilt skirt and then it died and I ran out and I just had to delete a bunch of apps so that I could keep filming on my phone. Luckily I have a new camera, but I've yet to figure that out. So let's just go back to the tartan skirt. I'm gonna try and speed run this now because I'm so tired. These pants are like super stretchy. They're almost like leggings, but they're these really, really cool like paneled flared pants. They have these sections that are like sheer lace that are really, really cool. And then the sides, I couldn't figure out how to describe these. So this is what the sides look like. <laughs> okay, next up we have this dress. I've had this exact dress saved on my Pinterest board for months now. And Bo actually found this for me. So shout out to you, my love. But it's almost like this little schoolgirl dress. It's not because uh, whose school uniform is this cool. Um, but it's like a little button up dress. It's got this black collar and again I have a lot of like tartan and plaid stuff now so it's all working in my wardrobe. It has a tie up waist as well which is really cool. Next I'm going to talk about two leopard print items that I got both of which I got them from this little vintage shop that's near us. This is like perfect. I love this top so much. I wore it recently to go out with my friend Ruby. I love how this top has so much texture and just like depth to it. It's not just like one plain color with the leopard print on it. And when I first put it on, I put it on, you know, the right way. Um, but I thought that the neckline was a bit weird. So I turned it around and now it is a perfect high boat neck with a low back. Next is this crazy dress here. Oh my God, I love it so much. Um, it's from the brand Betty Page Las Vegas, which is a really cool vintage brand. They do more like pinup sort of 50 style clothes, which I'm really into. Um, it is just such a gorgeous leopard print. It's got lace, it's got cap sleeves, it's got this little ribbon detail on the bottom with some more lace. It's really stretchy as well, which is really good. I want her to take me out to dinner so I can wear this. Next up is this really, really cool gothic button-up shirt, and I actually haven't tried it on yet because there's just so much going on, I don't really know how to put it on, so I just couldn't be bothered in the moment. It's from the brand Angel Secret, which is just, you know, after a great start already. It's got this huge collar on it. It's got this contrast stitching in white. It's got these like shoelaces almost that are up the sleeve in this like corseted style. It's also got these rings on the back so you can make it into a corset top. There's so much going on here. I cannot wait to see what this looks like on. This is easily my favorite piece that I thrifted. The color is 
gorgeous, my absolute favorite color in the whole world. It's got all these black press studs that go all the way down and then all the way up the collar, which is really cool. It's got a high collar as well. The sleeves are a little bit puffed as well, which is a bit interesting. I'd probably prefer it if it was just a straight sleeve, but then it's also got these tied up ribbons on the sleeves and then a corseted back. Yeah, when I put this on, I felt like I was teaching in like a gothic Victorian school for vampires or something, you know? Yeah, this is really cool. Oh, and the brand is Blacklist, which someone told me is actually like an offshoot of the brand Lip Service, which is really sick. I didn't know that there are any like related um, brands. Okay, this then brings us to the holy grail piece that I found, which is Lip Service. I don't think that it's vintage because I think the old vintage tags had the little embroidered rose on it, whereas this has the barcode, but I'm genuinely not complaining. I never in my life thought I would ever thrift lip service, like not from Depop or Marketplace, but like from the thrift store. And for me to find this for $13. Anyway, sorry, let me talk about the piece real quick. It is like a leather jacket, but it has these mesh parts to it. It zips all the way up and then on the front, it's actually got this really, really long like looped. It's almost like a safety pin, I think. And then the back is again, a corseted back. So yeah, whoever donated this, they're definitely dead now because <laughs> there is just no way in hell that they would have donated all of these cool like vampy gothic pieces especially vintage pieces and stuff and from such expensive brands like lip service i don't know what could have happened there anyway that does bring me to the end of this video. Thank you guys all so, so much for watching and I'm sorry that this was posted late. It has been so crazy lately. And if you do like this video, then please give the video a like. If you liked me, then subscribe to my channel. It really helps me out and I really appreciate it. Thank you guys all so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.